So in this tutorial we will learn about how to draw these kind of A4 single line notebook in Microsoft Word. Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel The Teacher. So let's get started without wasting any time and here you can see that my cursor is presently right now here. And you can see a division between the ruler like here we have a division in the ruler and you can turn on or off the ruler from the view tab. So this division indicates that this entire design has been created using the Microsoft Word tables. Moreover, you can also see two new tabs here, table design and layout, when you are standing inside these lines. So if I move my cursor out of these lines, like on this second page, now you can see that both of those tabs are gone. So that also indicates that this entire design has been created using the Microsoft Word tables. So in this video I will quickly tell you that how you can draw this using Microsoft Word table and how you can use border and shading to customize your table quickly. So let's get started and for that I will open a new blank document by clicking on the file new option and now I will first move this to the second screen I have and here we have that page on which we will start drawing that notebook. So before we begin let me tell you that you must always uh, adjust the page settings first before you start working inside a document and you can do that by going to the layout tab and from here you must uh, adjust these three settings margins orientation and size first of all we will look into the size and here we have the default size for the blank document a4 and the width of that document is 8.27 inches and the height is 11.69 inches so you can take the paper size on which you are going to take the printout so if you are going to use the letter size that is 8 by 5 into 11 so you must change the uh, paper size in the Microsoft Word as well. If you are using the same size in the printer then you must choose the same size of the document in Microsoft Word. If you are going to use legal paper for inside the printer then you must choose the legal paper in Microsoft Word. So as soon as I will click on this uh, size legal you can see the adjustments in the ruler and you can turn on or off the ruler from the view tab. So here you can see the size the width and the height. So you can also notice these gray areas in the ruler both in horizontal and vertical rulers in all the sides top bottom left and right. So what are these? These are the margins and uh, the margins has been subtracted from the total width and height of the page. We can look into the margins by going to the layout tab and then click on the margins and here you can see that normal margins has been set by default where it has been set one inch for all the sides top bottom left and right. So we will go to the custom margin and here we will adjust the margins for top bottom left and right and that will be zero for all. Hit the OK key. We want to use the entire page and you can see that our cursor has been moved right here on the top edge. So now the design is very simple. You just need to go to the insert tab and then click table and then choose insert table instead of drawing the table from these boxes. So I will go to the insert table and here I will choose two columns and let's say 25 rows. We can adjust the number of rows later. So hit the OK key. And there you have the table and you just need to adjust the first column size from the ruler by holding down this divider here and you can set the size as you want. And now we will also adjust the size of the second column and we will make it out of the page right here. And before we go any further, what we will do, we will increase the size of the first row and we can do that from right here from the vertical ruler let's say I want this size for the first row now, so what I need to do now is to format a little bit this table 
and for that I will select all the columns and the rows up to this point and will move to the table design tab and here I will click on this border drop down menu and will choose border and shadings. From this border and shading section you can choose to have customized border of your choice like you can choose the style of the border, you can choose the color, you can choose the width of the border and you can also specify that uh, what border you want to customize like you can choose only to customize the top border so I will show you right here so right now I want to customize this vertical line and the first horizontal line so what I want to do now is to change the style of this first horizontal line and also this first vertical line however this is the second vertical line because the first line is hidden in the margins undo and the right line is also hidden here so what I will do I will first select this row and will move to the table design tab and will click on this borders drop down menu will open border and shadings so according to my selection in the document so this line in the preview represent this second line in the document so let me show you first I will uncheck it by clicking in the preview section and first I will change the style to double will change the color to red and will increase the width a little bit and now I will click here and will hit the ok key so you will see that according to my selection the second line the bottom line of this selection will change to this type ok, okay. So now I want to change this line so I will select this first column the entire column and you can also select a column by moving your mouse pointer on the top and when you see this cursor then just click to select the entire column and again I will move to border and border and shading so now which line in the preview represent this line so I have selected this way the first column only so according to my selection the right line in this preview is this line in the document so first I will remove this line from the preview and will change the style to double color red and will increase the width a little bit and now I will click in the preview section to have the new line style hit the ok key and there you have it so next thing we need to do is to draw a shape here a rounded corner rectangle or you can also choose any other shape from the insert tab if you click shapes then you have so many choices you can choose any kind of shape as required so I will go with this rounded corner rectangle and will draw it right here and as you draw a shape then you have a new tab on the top shape format from where you can customize your shape and what I need to do here is to remove the fill color by choosing no fill from the shape fill and will change the color the outline color to the z color and will also increase the width of this shape a little bit now I want to write date and page number in this table so mostly we can do that by right clicking on this shape and choose add text and then you can start typing and change the text fill color to black so that was the one way to type text within a shape so instead of doing that I will tell you the exact method and again we will go to the insert tab while standing inside the shape and here I will draw a table of two columns and two rows so here in the first column I will type date and will adjust the column size and in the second row page we don't need this underline so I will select the text and will remove the underline so I can adjust the column size by moving this divider here and here I can type the page number and can change the alignment to center so that way you can easily adjust uh, the so that way you can easily change the date and page number whenever required 
now i will also customize this table so for that i will again select this table and will move to table design border border and shading so, and first i will remove border from the entire table by clicking on this none setting and hit the ok key and now i need dotted lines below these two rows so again i will select only these two cells and will move again to border and shading so first i will choose this style uh, let's say this one and i can also change the color red one and can also increase the width a little bit and now i will click here and here and i will remove this one we don't need this this and this represent that two lines in the middle and at the bottom of the selection hit the ok key and there you have it so that way you can easily change the date next way or page number like you can easily adjust the text here and so designing a notebook using the microsoft word table gives you the opportunity to type the text easily at any point like these are two columns and these are the row so we have these many of cells here in this notebook so if i want to let's say type here then i can just simply click in this cell and can start typing so let's say i want to type the heading here first chapter i will tell you a few more settings that will make your notebook much better after you type the text so let's uh, say i have this heading and i will select this heading and will move to the home tab and will align it to the center of the cell will make it bold and will increase the size so here you can see that this text is on top so if you want to change the alignment setting of the text within a cell then these are the horizontal setting we need to adjust the vertical setting of the text and for that you need to select this text right click choose table properties and here if you move to cell then here you have the vertical alignment top center and bottom by default as we want to write the entire text at the bottom line so we will select all these cells and we'll move to table properties by right clicking and we'll move to the cell section and here i will set the vertical alignment to bottom So if now I start typing in any of these cell you can see that the vertical alignment of this text is at bottom. So let's see the preview file print and there you have it. So as I told you before if you want to add more rows then you can press the tab key at the last cell of the table that will add a new row to the table and after adjusting the row height if you have uh, many rows on the second page of the document then you can select this row go to the layout tab then click delete rows and you can also adjust the size of this last row here so i hope you will like this tutorial do let me know by liking sharing and commenting on this video and you can also subscribe to our channel for more upcoming tutorial videos thanks a lot for watching the tutorial bye and take care